Hi everyone, JavaStreetWiz here. Today we'll be talking about a random day in my life. So I'm a tech content creator and a digital nomad. And at the end of the video we will be asking questions like Is that lifestyle for you? Do you want it at all? And similar. Okay, so let's rock. I wake up around 7 a.m. and immediately do my Wim Hof breathing exercises. I can't explain how many benefits they brought me, but it's a whole different subject. Then I'm brushing my teeth, I forgot my perfect electric toothbrush, and I can't buy it anywhere here in Mexico, so I need to brush them with this bullshit now. Invest in a good electric toothbrush, totally worth it, trust me. My dentists love me. After it, I go immediately into working. In the morning, the lightning is great, so that's when I love to shoot videos. And of course, there are always some emails or LinkedIn messages to reply to, post content on my social media, answer on my comments, DMs there, etc. Now let's prepare some food. I'll do some eggs. Avocados too. Blah, blah, because yeah, I definitely need a lot of food because I'm going out now. I want to use daytime. The weather's usually really nice, so I just like want to use that part of the day and then later in the evening come and uh, work again. And right now we're in Tulum, Mexico, and we'll be visiting ancient ruins. Let's take this pro bike here. Super cool. Left up the Bugatti. Yay. I love this Tulum area. It's like super cool. Everything is new, just like super cool luxury new apartments and everything is like blended in nature i love it so much and yeah it's like super hot here so like it's 30 degrees it's humid and uh yeah it's just hot why do i switch to my iphone so i hope that the quality won't be that terrible uh yeah obviously it's not gonna be as my lovely sony but uh yeah it's gonna be fine. Okay, so we've arrived to the ruins. Let's explore a bit. But to be honest, it's like 2 p.m. and I still haven't had my ice cream. So I'll jump to the store, get the ice cream and see if I can cycle and eat ice cream at the same time. I can, but obviously this happens if you do it. Now it's time to try out Tulum's mystical experience. And to be honest, it really was mystical. Like the author shared his amazing story and amazing art and it was actually the first exhibition where i read everything that's written so yeah just an incredible exhibition after these lovely things definitely a time for a nice workout time to go home i'll be doing some video editing more emails and everything else that comes and one hour before bed i'll turn off my electronics and start reading i usually fall asleep way sooner that's the effect when I go to bed late with a book. So that would be a completely random day in life. There's not a typical day, because every day is different, depending on your location, depending on how you feel. This was a completely solo day. I love meeting other nomads, I love socializing. There's a lot of like co-working spaces, co-living spaces, and it's really cool. But not today. Today was just like my solo day and working. And that brings us to the first answer. Is digital nomading for you? And to be one, you must learn how to enjoy time alone, completely alone. So you need to share experiences with you. You need to share happiness just with you because most of the time there will be nobody to share those experiences with. Sure, you can call people online and you can send messages, but all in all, you need to be amazing only with yourself. And that's a skill. It's not like we're born like that. Maybe we have some tendencies to be more introvert or more extrovert, but if you're an extrovert, you can become an introvert and opposite. 
I'm both extrovert and introvert. I was born more as an extrovert and then developed introvert skills. Uh, so now this is just perfect for me. I adore being alone and if I want to be with other people I can easily socialize. There's so many places and events and if I want to be alone I'm alone already so why not. But yeah it's awesome because you have freedom you can do anything you want anywhere in the world nobody can tell you anything and it's just spectacular. And also when you're a nomad it's really hard to form long-lasting relationships. You'll meet amazing people, you'll click with them, but then sooner or later you or they will just move to some other place and maybe you'll stay in touch for a few months, a uh, few weeks probably more likely, but after some time that relationship will just possibly fade away uh, because you'll go to other cool places, they will go to other cool places, so many things will happen to them and to you that you won't be tied that much to the past, so if it was something like super powerful, super strong, then possibly those relationships will last longer, but most likely many of them will just fade away. So yeah, you definitely need to be amazing with just yourself because yeah you're alone in the world unless you do it for example if you're in a relationship so you can go nomading as a couple together that's something I could potentially do some people even go with friends uh, but I don't think I could do that because it's I don't know I just love my time alone and I don't think I could spend weeks or months with uh, friends and be tied to their schedule and everything. I just love that complete freedom. So, so yeah, but that's up to you. Many people do that. So you don't need to be completely alone. You can be in a relationship or you can travel with friends. Uh, but yeah, I just love that flexibility and freedom so much when I'm alone that I prefer it that way. And why is it good to be a digital nomad? Uh, well, the speed of personal development is just crazy because so many new things happen to you all the time. Every day is a new challenge. Every day you experience new things, new cultures, new people and it's just awesome how quickly you move. Sometimes I feel like one week lasts like one month. It's, it's just crazy. And yeah, because of all those new experiences you must form some new habits to handle those experiences and that's why you change fast and you grow fast. It might be scary for some people because many people want to run away from themselves and not to look at their troubles and problems straight in the eye. If you think that you will start traveling the world and you will leave all of your problems behind you, that's not the case. Actually, completely opposite will happen. When you go away and you become completely alone, all of your problems will be magnified because now it's only you and your problems. Because usually when you're in the same place, you're bounded to other people's problems like your family's problems, your friend's problems, your girlfriend's problems, your boyfriend's problems, etc. Just problems of the society and environment. And when you move away, all of those problems are gone. So it's only you and your problems. Which is incredible because you can deal with those problems, you can solve them, you can grow really fast. Uh, but yeah, at the beginning it can be uh, a bit uh, uncomfortable to, to do that. Long term it's the only way to do, to just deal with those problems and advance and grow. Because yeah, you can't imagine how much you learn about yourself when you're completely alone in the world. And also every day feels like a vacation to me. Obviously, I love what I do, I really enjoy social media, I love creating content and sometimes I even prefer like, I don't know, video editing over lying on a beach because I just love it so much. I believe that in life there should be no distinction between non-work and work. Every day should be a working vacation. If you love what you do, you should be able to have fun all the time. There's no point in having a job that you don't like. And then looking forward to a holiday in like six months. That's no life. Every day should be a vacation. And you should never settle. You should always pursue that, experiment, fail, learn from that. And just see how can you reach that life where every day is a vacation. 
of course, you work a lot. There are some days when I work like for 16 hours. So yeah, there are some days when I work for like two hours, but I love it all the time. It took me years to reach that point when I actually don't need to work for anyone. I just do what I love whenever I want, wherever I want. I have that complete freedom and flexibility. But yeah, don't settle because you can find the same thing. Just to be clear, to be a digital nomad, it's not like you need to have your own business so you can just have a remote job and you don't even need to be a digital nomad for like two years. You can just start nomading for a month. Even if your company maybe doesn't showcase that, just ask them, hey, can I work remotely for a month from this and that location? Possibly, most likely, they will say yes to you. So just Go, do it, try it out, get out of your comfort zone. And that's probably the best advice I can give you, is just like, try it out by yourself. Try to be a digital nomad for one month and see what happens, see how you like that. If you can't be a digital nomad with your current job, you're not allowed to work remotely, then quit your job, find a remote job, because there's so many remote jobs in this world, you shouldn't settle for a non-remote job if you want a remote job. If you're okay with that, then yeah, don't worry about it. Just continue working with it on your job. But you're watching this video, so you probably want to try out digital nomad life, or at least you're interested into it. And there's no point in settling down for something that you don't like. Just move forward, try something new. Because overall, it's an amazing life. Every day is a new adventure. You don't know what will happen and that makes you so happy. Because also I believe that our lives sometimes can seem miserable because we can predict everything. So we know we're going to wake up, we're going to do the same thing during our work day, then the same thing after work and this and that. Maybe we'll get drunk over the weekend, maybe we'll go to, I don't know, a theater during the weekend. But it's so, so boring. We all, we know everything. And that's why we're looking forward so much to that vacation in three months, because that's going to be something different. That's going to be something new. And we don't know what will happen on this vacation. And that's exactly what life of digital nomad is. You don't know what will happen. It's like an adventure where you meet new people, meet new cultures, learn so much about yourself. You learn how to live properly because it's not that easy to be completely alone in the world. You have much more challenges than in your comfort zone at home. So it's a life definitely worth pursuing and I highly recommend it. And if you like this type of content, please comment, like, share, because I've recently started YouTube. I'm more strong on Instagram and TikTok, but I definitely want to get into long form content. So yeah, just share your feedback, subscribe, like, do anything you want with it because it's uh, yeah, it's really valuable to me. I would appreciate it so much. Cheers.